my mind isn't the problem, the world is the problem. It used to be that my mind was the problem. I had a lot of bad emotions and, and that was from hormone imbalance. Turns out testosterone doesn't work too well with me. But I fixed that and even back then I found a way around that where I could use logic to get through these issues. But a lot of times in the world you'll notice that things make you feel like you're the only one that's ever experienced what should be very common. Like you'll have an issue in your life and you'll feel like surely people have been experiencing this for the past 10 millennia and yet when you search the internet it's just so unhelpful. It doesn't bring up anything about it and people they have answers like when, when it is brought up people have these answers that are just so bizarre and like they've never experienced this and whatever deep issue it might be and so there, it's, it's like it's like gosh am I unrelatable and then we have all of these disorder names for things like like uh, oh you're, you're depressed well well, maybe you're not depressed. Maybe your world has issues and your brain is telling you something is wrong. Because a lot of times I notice that it isn't the fact that, it, it isn't that you are depressed, it's that you are having error signals going off in your head telling you that something is very wrong. That's what I've found. And I, I don't always find it helpful that a lot of people will, uh, they'll try to fix your brain when sometimes it's an issue with the world around your brain. And the only person that can tell that is you, of course. Like, I could definitely tell there was an issue with me whenever I was having issues with my mind. Nowadays, any issues that I have are more subtle. And it's more of difficulties, really. Like, because I can be a difficult person. I can, uh, I can have very concrete principles that are not always very helpful but I feel very strongly about them and at least to some trouble sometimes I think a lot of people need to be encouraged to not see their depression or issues as a problem but as a signal because I had depression really badly and I decided to see it as a signal after a while. And I decided to give myself 10 years to figure things out. I wasn't going to suicide. I was going to give myself 10 years to figure things out. Because it's like, man, things just didn't seem right. And I'm glad I did. Because I was able to find a lot more clarity in things. And most of all, I was able to start my gender transition, which I had a hunch would have helped. Turns out it helped a lot. That actually pretty much got rid of my depression. And, uh... Getting rid of your depression is pretty nice. Now I just have an understanding of like what I dislike. Was like, man, I just don't like it. I don't like this stuff, or I don't like that stuff, or whatever. And uh, I, I'm more like apathetic towards the world, but I don't, I don't hate it. And I don't hate my life. I'm just extremely apathetic towards my life. And so I'm very dispassionate about whenever I, I know I want to do this thing, but I don't feel like doing this thing. I'm just not passionate behind it, so I'll make myself be pa seem passionate about it, but sometimes I'll fail at that. But I still have so many things where I feel like I'm the problem, and then I have to think, well, no. The problem isn't my mind. The problem is that I'm living in, in a world that's eliciting some error signal in, in my head, and I have to think, okay, well, what is bothering me? And sometimes I'm not, I'm not smart enough to really tell for sure. But... It helps a lot whenever you realize some of those things that, that dog us are not an issue with us, but it's information. It's like a, an error, a warning light, an engine check light on your car turning on. Because if you, know, if, you, if you feel bad about something, well, there's probably a good reason behind it. And it might be a complicated reason, dreadfully complicated, but it might be a good reason. And I've found that to be true. So apply it as, as you will. I'm not even sure how to even wrap it up. Just, here's a messy idea. Enjoy it.